What's up YouTube, it's your boy Jamal Abiyade and welcome back for yet another YouTube video. Today we're gonna get into a special, special tutorial. It's how to make a Detroit style baby Tron beat. But look, before we get into that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and please subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit that notification button. Because if you don't hit that notification button, you might not see my videos. And make sure you guys check out my new sample kit, Pretty Girls Love Samples Volume 2. Yes, Volume 2, 25 plus samples for $9.99. Drag and drop style. Everything's chopped up professionally. You gotta do drag and drop into any doll and make a hit, alright? But look, you guys, enough of all that baby tron style beat it's gonna be fire all right let's get it chill all right you guys so let's get into this baby tron type beat so for baby tron type beats they're always samples and they're always old school samples like disco and post disco era so i looked up um a disco sample called jackie moore this time baby 1979 disco how did i find this sample because i don't know anything about disco YouTube it, man. Look up disco samples or look it up. Go through disco playlists. Put um, 1980 disco playlist, 1970s disco playlist, and look through and find something you think you can flip. So first off, we're just gonna play the song, and I just want to hear. I can't play it always through because I don't want to copyright. So I'm just gonna skip around so you can hear it. Ooh. Ooh. I can hear it. I'm rapping over it right now. So first thing you want to do is sample this beat so when you're looking at um a, a baby tron or detroit type beat i like three parts of the sample i like the verse i like the hook then i like a breakdown so don't just get one sample and loop it over and over and over again because that's boring get multiple parts because it's going to be a fast paced beat you know detroit beats are flying a lot of drums really fast what i'm going to do is go around this beat chop out the parts i want then we're gonna come back. So if you guys don't know how to sample yet, this video is not to teach you how to sample, but you know I have videos to teach you guys how to sample. So click above, boom. It's gonna teach you how to sample. And watch a lot of videos. I have a whole bunch of how to sample videos, you guys. So let's get into it. Let me pick out what parts would be great to sample this song. So this song has so many dope parts that I can sample. I don't know what to do. There's so many ways I can go with this. So what I'm gonna do is pick a, something I want to be my bass line or my, um, you know, my core, core of the sample. And I'm gonna build the beat around that, and I'm just gonna bring more samples in later, okay? So I like this right here. I like using talking ones, because I like when you pitch them up, how it sounds. So we're gonna use this right here. I'm gonna bring it to the front. Uh, right there, boom, we're gonna bring it to the front. We're gonna bring it right here, and I'm gonna mute this up here, all right? All right, so first thing we gotta do with this sample, we gotta take some of this, everything out. <laughs> So I went to the EQ, I'm gonna take some of the highs out. All right, we got that out. First thing we wanna do now is go to hi-hats. I need the hi-hats, and the hi-hats have to be fast, man. They have to be fast. I don't care what pattern you do with them, but they have to be fast. You know Baby Tron likes rapping fast since my generic hi-hat is so low i'm gonna go over here i'm already gonna boost it up right here i already know i have to do that i'm gonna do control click is that control click yeah i'm gonna get control click create pattern region boom I hit it all like that boom so i got already got that going Drop it down, we're gonna do velocity. Each one we're gonna break down a little bit. Why do we do that? I say this in every video, why do I do that? Because if all the velocity is on 100, we're gonna sound like a robot. Velocity is how hard the person's hitting the drum. If you're a drummer, you're not hitting the drum at the same strength every time. So you gotta put it, you know, 100, 189, 100, 192, just so it sounds more natural. Has more of a natural bounce to it. Now let's go mess with some note repeats. Make it 32 steps so I can make more changes. So let's do something like that. So I like that. I like that. Now we need a hard hitting snare. I'm gonna do my flint snare. The brush. Use my brush tool. I'm gonna use my brush tool. See how that sounds. Now bring that kick in. Got to bring a kick in. Look, now it's time to mess with the sample. The sample can't stay in this pitch. So we got to pitch it up a little bit. Let's see. OK, 
Okay, that's kind of where I want it. So now we've got the drum and the pitch, what we want to do. Uh, I'm going to see what sample works. I have a lot of parts to this song that I can go with. So let's see. Let's see. So I just grabbed something. I didn't even read it. I didn't even listen to it because I have so many parts. We have that one. That's good. I like that one. I like that. Let's try this one. Let's try this one. And I feel like I could pitch it higher, too. Try this. Ooh. Okay, you guys, I like this a lot. I like this guy. Let's get these perks going. Let's get some perks. Oh, we gotta get a cowbell. But last but not least, let's get a rim. One thing I want to do for sure is I want to pitch it up some more, you guys. I'm so sorry. Another thing I like to do with this kind of beat is put an open hat on, like, the main kick or the first kick. I'll show you guys what I mean by that. Because when I put the 808 in, it's going to make it hit much harder. So it's like... I like that. Let's get to, let's get to these 808s, man. That's enough of all this. Let's get to these 808s. Let's get to these 808s. Which one I'm gonna use? Um, I have a lot of 808s I like, and I'm actually just gonna put the 808 and the sample on because I'm trying to pitch the 808 to the sample. So let's try that. And right now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play with the 808, get this pattern right. All right, you guys. So we got the 808 together. One thing about Detroit beats, make sure these perks are high, man. The perks are like your melodies. See, man, look, you guys, them perks are very important into finding the balance of a Detroit beat, man. Look, you see, I changed the perks around just a little bit, and it's a whole different vibe. We got a good part. We got a great part. We got to go back in here and look at these samples so we can mix it up. We got to have some breakdown. That might that that might work itself. Look, that was easy. That might work itself. That's hot. Yeah, we might have to replace that one with this right here. You, as you see, it's all it's a puzzle piece. I'm going through the samples to see what matches what I got. So when you're using samples sometimes, sometimes get the surrounding parts right and then go back to the sample and mess around. Man, there's so many hot parts in this song. Goodness. So don't be discouraged if you're doing a disco sample and you can't catch the swing. This is a hard sample. This is a hard sample to do. If, if I was beginning, for beginners, I wouldn't suggest this sample, honestly. I gotta put some RC20 to spice the sample up, so put some RC20 on it. I feel like we got everything we need. I got the risers, I got uh, the perks, the speed is great, the pitch is good. Now it's just time to organize it and make the drops, the Detroit drops they do and everything like that. All right, now, so now I got this all together. I got to add one thing Baby Tron, a lot of Detroit songs have, is the drum switch. It's an 808 and drum switch. So I've got to find something for a breakdown. I think I'm going to do this part right here. I just did some random drum patterns to see which one I would like the most. Okay, I like that. So let's bring in the 808 and see if we can have some patterns in this 808 to make the song a little different. I got these close drums, right? I made them close so I can move the, the octaves of them. So it's boom, 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 like. So something like, let's see.
And I just thought of another great perk to add to this joint. Let's add a deep hit. All right, so I'm gonna add a. I'm gonna see if I can add a bell to this, like a, just a typical bell, just to give it a little more flavor. All right, you guys. So I hope you guys learned something. I know I went through this and I was just putting stuff together, but let's recap what we did. Look, Baby Tron, we're using a disco sample. Something that, you know, a lot of Detroit like using that old school sample. We use a disco sample. I used a lot of parts of the sample. Um, the hi-hat I kept fast. The snare I kept crazy. I have two 808 patterns, two drum patterns. I have that open hat to bring out the kicks a little more. You got to have your perks crazy. I got the zaps. I got the rims. I got the cowboys. All that. All that. Got the risers. Make that crazy. You know Detroit Lover Church Bell. And most important with these songs, you got to have drops. And one thing too, a lot of these style beats are all in the mixing. I didn't mix this at all. But one thing is, these uh, these 808s have to be turned all the way up. They have to be distorted. These perks have to show. You have to act like the perk is part of the melody. Stuff you have to do to mix it to make it sound like that. You have to put them 808s high, distort them, um, sample a little low. Make sure that snare is cutting through the song, you know? But look. Baby Tron's tight beat. Hope you guys like it. I'm going to put it up on my beat star. So if anybody wants to rap on it, let me know. Make something hot, you guys. I appreciate you guys rocking with me this long. And let's get it. Look, Jamal Abiyada. Woo! Here we go. Oh, wait, wait. I go. Wait. Yeah. See it from the goo. She don't wanna dance, but see what I do. Hey, damn, when I ball like a horse, I ball like a Giannis. I punch like a Tynes. Huh? Look, you guys, thank you for watching another video. My name is Jamal Abiyade, and I'll be here next week, same time. We got another YouTube video. Comment below what you guys wanna see next, and I'll make sure I make that happen for you. All right, I'll holla at you. Chill.